Hello everyone, my name is Anjali and I'm third year BSMS student from Aizar Bhopal. So today I'll be telling you about different forms and different examinations which you should fill if you are preparing for NEET. I know that uh, at this time everyone is determined that I'll crack MBBS, but we all know how this cutoff is going on. Every year it is increasing and every year it is increasing for these examinations also. But my motto of uh, making this video is that so that uh, some of uh, the people who have taken biology, they don't, they have taken biology because they like bio, but they don't know what they actually want to become. I also had no idea what, uh, what is my motto towards life, what I want to become. I just took biology because I like biology or I should better say that I, dislike maths or the social sciences and my little bit of interest was inclined towards biology so i took it this was but after taking that i had no idea that what is this you have to study so long and the do being doctor takes so much of time everything takes time but there are some of the other career options also which you can take if you want like instant job after four years or something like that so I'll be telling you about different examinations. At my time, I had no idea. Uh, I am from Isaac and I had no idea about Isaac. Literally, I have filled a form of IIT on the last day. Like I was roaming uh, in my street. So one boy, I got one childhood friend and he told me, what are you preparing? And we discussed and he told me that there is an institute called Isaac. You should fill, fill form for that. Then I came and I just searched and that was the last day of filling form for Isaac and I just filled it. And uh, I gave Isaac examination 15 days after need almost and in that 15 days i didn't study anything so i said examination is something different i'll make a video and i've already made it i'll pin it in comment section so let's start with the video and see what are the different career options except need you don't have to worry about your future See, first is IET, Iser Aptitude Test. And Isers are very underrated, but you should know that if you are coming to Iser, you know your means your standard increases. When you'll enter this institute, now any Iser, you'll see that how remarkable this institute and, and it is so beautiful. It has a lot of facilities and the research uh, mind and teachers I mean professors there and the environment there, everything is very nice. If you, and if you come here, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, you'll not be Birozgar in your future and that's for sure it's a remarkable institute. Uh, then I'm coming to ICR. Uh, most of the people must be knowing about ICR and not IAT. Though ISRs are very renowned, much renowned than everything almost I have written here. So the, you should fill, fill the form if you're from maths or bio, anything. But basically, I, I have written all those uh, examinations for keeping in consideration bio students. The next examination is ICR. So this is uh, All India Agriculture examination. You should fill this examination. The course is of four years and you'll get very good placements after you complete your BSc Agriculture four years degree. Then it comes to NEST. Uh, this is also a research uh, examination like you'll get admission in NISER, CBS. So you, you should give this examination and for this examination, the question pattern will be different. You have to focus more on understanding rather than grasping. This examination and IIT both are very similar. So you should, you must fill the, fill the, all these examinations. Uh, you can leave the, uh, these I have just written just for your interest basis. If some of you may be like, they may not be interested in biology, so I've written those. So these uh, examinations you must fill. There is CUET uh, for central universities. Uh, this is the entrance examination for that. Do you take admission to these nowadays? At my time, it was not there. So you should fill this. You'll get admission in your desired BSc courses in DU and other uh, very good reputed institutes. Then BSc agriculture. It's a uh, means it, this one is also very, very prestigious examination. If you clear this examination, then just go. Don't think about anything. Just go and take admission. This degree is very means very precious. After you complete your BHC agriculture degree, uh, that is a four years, then you will get like your placement will be very high. Uh, you will not be an average uh, means placement. It will not be like that. Your placement will be 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs per annum. It will be like this. This course is very, very important. And if you're and yeah, the intake is very less for this course. Of course, if you are getting so much of perks, then it will be competitive. Uh, I was not like I gave this examination and I was not able to get admission though I was hoping that now I'll get now I'll get but like uh, with a few ranks I was just left out uh, almost I think some hundred or no 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 I don't remember how much intake is there this is a very prestigious examination and if you get just go and then there are other BHU courses uh, you should fill uh, on the basis of your interest like BSc botany zoology some of the examinations are there you can fill those so these are the courses and there are state examinations in whatever state you are like i am from bihar so my examination was bcc 
BCCA state is my state examination. Similarly, your state must be taking some other examination. So through this state examination, you can get admission in all the paramedical courses, then agriculture and then fishery. There are many uh, things are there. In, you should go and check your state website and see what exams or uh, what courses are there and for what they, they take admission. I know about BCC. Uh, yeah, physiotherapy, nursing, agriculture, paramedical. These are the courses. So yeah, this one is also very good AFMC nursing. When I was preparing for NEET, I knew about this examination. My bench partner in Akash, since she's doing uh, nursing from AFMC, but my like, I was like, why should I do nursing? No, I'll not do nursing. It was my mindset, which was very wrong. And I'm, I feel very guilty for that. She's doing great in life, really. You must be, uh, some of you must be thinking you're nursing. Why should I do nursing? I'm from a like a very good reputed family. Why should I go for nursing? But no, you know, the, respect you will get after you join AFMC. AFMC and BBS is very different. You all know. I mean, that is the cutoff is also very high. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about nursing. If you get admission here, now you'll be called lieutenant. So that will be your designation after you get your degrees. Uh, C means how, what kind of respect you are getting after you are completing your nursing from AFMC. And also the pay scale is very good. Respect is very good. Life is very good. So you should definitely go you should not think about others what the society is telling please don't do that don't do the mistake which i have done so this course is very remarkable then vit it takes examination in biotechnology uh, biotechnology is very good of vit well low so if you're interested in biotechnology you should give interest examination of vit then uh, what is that kit institute so these institutes are good for biotechnology they'll give you good placement yeah if you study four years seriously they'll give you good placement don't think that it's private institute uh, what should i do yeah the Fees is very high, but you, if you can afford and if you're interested in biotechnology, you should go to VIT or KIT. Then Manipal, SRM, these are also like VIT only. Uh, you can see the courses there, biotechnology, bioinformatics, or for whatever you are interested in, all these are four-year courses and you'll do great if you study well and you'll get instant placement, which you are not going to get in IAT, NEST, and yeah, you'll not get instant placement in research institutes. Research institutes don't give instant placements. Then it comes to IPUCT. So this is the entrance examination in the press common entrance uh, test. We all know IPU. So you can give examination for this. You can search courses. I did not give this examination, so I don't know more about it. Then AIMS paramedical courses. I'll tell you a short uh, like incident. One of my friends, she is doing uh, nursing from AIMS. So I had no idea that she used uh, AIMS offers nursing courses also. I didn't know about it. And uh, she's doing nursing from AIMS, so I know about her. I mean, your life will be, you know, we don't take nursing courses, but the truth is that nursing courses give you instant placements, instant jobs. You not, you should, uh, I mean, you will be settled at your early age. So nursing from AIMS and AFMC, don't leave it if you are getting it. Please take it. So these are some of the entrance examinations which, which you should give if you are from bio background and if you are uh, interested in biology and you want your further life to be involved in biology or health sectors. So now these are some of the other examinations which I have written. Maybe some of you, everyone has a different talent. So if you want to do journalism, then you there is a journalism examination which DU takes. I gave the entrance examination. I have done very, I don't know what I've done in my life. So I just explored all the fields. I also got admission in this. There's a college, Delhi School of Journalism. I was not clear what should I do after 12. So I was just, I mean, roaming here and there in like what in which course i'm interested in so i took admission i was uh, good at speaking skills were good so i took admission in du uh, journalism i gave entrance examination and then i got selected there the college is very good and environment is very good uh, you can prepare for other examinations also so you can get admission and uh, i just withdraw my admission because uh, there you have to study history all science and i was not, not able to study history after being a bias student so i just left the college with du a journalism course is very good then these are some of the design examinations, NIFT and ID, you see NATA. So if you are interested, your uh, drawing skills are good or your imaginations are good, then you give entrance for this, all these examinations. The future will be secured after uh, getting in these institutes. Then there is CLAT law examination. I mean, this one is also very prestigious. I don't know why uh, people nowadays are, they are more inclined towards engineering, but lawyers are much more than any engineer. And this is the truth. So this was everything from my side, uh, which I knew and which I should convey to you all so you should fill these examinations and just don't just be yeah focus on need if you if that is your goal you should focus on that but like uh, don't just take drops continue drops i've seen uh, i mean 
two, three of my friends, like I have been in 2020, I passed out. So now also they are taking drop for, for need. I mean, getting MBBS. And I, it's my opinion. My, yours must be different. But I don't think that uh, if you are taking so much of drop, it will be worth it. No. You are just wasting so much of time, so much of years of your life. So in my opinion, uh, you should, if you are interested in bio or if you are interested in helping people like doctors do, you you can take nursing, physiotherapy. There are many courses, psychology, BS in psychology. So there are many courses through which you can help people if your mindset is uh, of helping only. So th this was my opinion. You should try all these things also. Uh, just tell your family members to fill all these forms and then just give examination on whatever day it is and just focus on it. If you are preparing for one examination with whole heart, any one examination, if you are preparing for IAT, NEET, any one exam or BSc agriculture, you will clear all the exams because concept is same. It's just that the, their way of asking is different. Like NEET will ask direct questions and IIT and next examinations will ask that question only indirectly. So that is only the difference. Content will be same. So this was all from my side and hope you all are doing great. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'll meet you in another video where I'll tell you about the five-month strategy for how to crack IET examination. Thank you.